Hey guys, what is up? This is Victor and welcome to your 14th tutorial of Backbone.js. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about collection events. Okay, so let's get started. Um, with a little explanation, of course. <laughs> so uh, there's times when in collections, you're going to want to listen for when a, uh, a model within the collection is removed or added. And you're also going to want to listen for when a model within the collection changes or when an attribute within the model within the collection changes. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create um, down here. No, let's create our events first. So we're going to have a function called bind events function. And let's start creating our events. So these events are pretty much the same. They have, they have the same layout as the model events. All you have to do is this dot on, and you're gonna do when the name changes, this name refers to this name, and it's listening for a change event. Then we're gonna call a function. And this function, all it's going to do is alert. And it's going to say, hey, the name changed. And then we're going to display what it changed to. And to do that, we need to pass in our model here. And this model refers to the model that was modified. So we're going to display model.get and we want to get oh we want to get our name cool so now let's copy this a few more times so that we can listen for the other events so to listen for the other events which are the add and the remove events all we have to do is change from change that sounds weird all we have to do is modify this string to say add and this one to say remove. We still pass in the model that we added, we pass in the model that we removed, and then here let's change the string a little bit. Let's change the string to um, we just added a freaking student. And then in this one it's gonna say, oh my god, we lost a student and we're gonna display the names in all of them. Cool, now that, that we have our events, and actually let me just go through this one more time so that we are all, we are all in, the, in the same page. We're gonna say when this collection changes and we add an item, we're gonna call this function and we're gonna alert that something happened. And it's gonna display the model that we just added and here's the model that we passed. And all these functions are pretty, I mean, all these events are pretty straightforward. So now that we have that, let's make sure they work by actually adding and removing and modifying items. So let's have our, we have our student group and our two students. Now let's do students group uh, dot add. And let's add Vicky to the group. We add Vicky and then let's remove Vicky because she didn't make the cut in the end she sucked student group dot remove uh, parenthesis and we do Vicky Vicky not Bucky okay and then let's modify an item so like I said on the last tutorial we can modify either of the, these two students and they will reference the model within our student group collection. So since right now Johnny is the only student remaining in the student group, let's modify Johnny. Let's do johnny.set from Johnny to sandwich. Well, that's, it's not quotes, it's curly brace. Name to sandwich. So now what's going to happen is that we're going to get an alert saying we just added a freaking student and then it's going to say oh my god we lost a student and then it's going to say hey the name changed 
to sandwich. Let's see if I'm right. Browser, refresh, and nothing happens. Oh, and nothing happens because we still haven't called our bind events function. So let's do that. This dot bind events. We call it and now it should work. We go to our browser and there we go. We just added a freaking student, Vicky. Oh my God, we lost a student, Vicky. Hey, the name changed, sandwich. Mm. Cool. So collection events are as easy as that. And I think I got it all. Cool. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.